Now to the latest out of Ferguson, Missouri. Overnight, police came under attack and under fire. Jenna Hanchard was there witnessing the violence firsthand. She joins us now live from Ferguson with the latest developments. Jenna. Missouri Highway Patrol Captain Ron Johnson was actually brought to tears overnight talking about how violent last night got and urging protesters today to come out peacefully. Last night, very violent. Let me show you the pictures from last night. 31 people arrested. At least two people were shot. The night began peacefully, then turned tense just before 10 o'clock last night. More than 200 people walked toward police officers. Then people threw bottles and Molotov cocktails. Two fires, one at a business, one at an unoccupied residence in the area of West Florissant and Canfield. Officers came under heavy gunfire at an apartment complex. We just had officers in the midst of gunfire. We had officers in the midst of gunfire. And I guarantee you those officers' wives and husbands and parents are calling them now. I stood there and listened over the radio and heard the screams of those officers who were under gunfire. Captain Ron Johnson said that despite the violence last night, um, they are not going to put a curfew in place tonight. Reporting live here in Ferguson, Jenna Hanchard, 41 Action News. All right, thanks for your updates, Jenna. And more journalists are getting caught up in the chaos there. Police arrested a man who works for Getty Images yesterday. Reports say Scott Olson was not in a designated area set up for the media, and that's what led to his arrest. Police released Olson around 9 last night. And Patrick, police also put a 90-year-old Holocaust survivor in handcuffs. A St. Louis report says the woman was among eight people marching and protesting outside of Governor Jay Nixon's office in St. Louis. The group disagreed with his decision to use the National Guard. Police arrested the elderly woman for failure to leave. And for the first time, we are getting a glimpse of Officer Darren Wilson at the scene of the shooting. This here is video a, from a witness who shot this from her house. Pia J. Uh, Crenshaw says Wilson appeared baffled and was pacing back and forth in disbelief after killing the 18-year-old. The 28-year-old officer has worked for the Ferguson Police Department for four years. An independent autopsy by Brown's family released, uh, revealed that is Brown was shot at least six times. Later on this week, Attorney General Eric Holder will visit Ferguson, Missouri. He'll meet with investigators and community activists. Missouri Senators Claire McCaskill and Roy Blunt will join Holder tomorrow. And you can count on 41 Action News for the latest updates as this story continues to unfold. We will, of course, keep you posted right here on air as well as on our website at KSHB.com.